Okay, for this tutorial, we're going to need a pack that you can get for free from Cartoon Solutions up here. And just click on freebies and just sign up for your uh, newsletter and you'll get a free package of Dave. And when we go down to that, you're going to get a folder which is going to say Cartoon Head. And in that, you're going to go through down to Photoshop. And you're going to see this Dave font faces PSD and you're going to go into GIMP and you can just load that into GIMP and you can see he's got a lot of faces here and now what I'll, I've done is I've created another file for you where I've taken all these faces and I've put them into one file and I've called that Dave oops that's not what we want to do here and what you can see is I've taken his um, mouse and I put them into different um, phenomes and this phenomes match the Blair Preston Blair uh, phenome which we will use in Papagayo and this Dave file will be in the link below and also, what I've done is I've uh, what what you need to do if you want to do it yourself, you can get the phenom or phonem and do an export, and you export it as whatever the phonem is. Now, I, upper lowercase, I'm not quite sure if it is important. On it isn't on Windows; it might be on Linux. So, if we go here and have a look. You can see all the mouths. And then what we can do is we can go to Papagayo. Papagayo is like a text to text of phonem speaking thing. And we need to get the, the MP3. Now what, what comes with Papagayo is, um, is uh, this testing uh, hasta la vista, which comes as a WAV file. And the WAV file works good. The only problem is, is when you take it into Synfig, it doesn't work. Uh, WAV files don't work as good as MP3s. So, and if you play it, hasta la vista, baby. And you're going to see that some of it doesn't work, doesn't match up. So we can go through a, go through. A, so you can see the la is there. So we're going to move the la here. The vista is there. A little bit fiddly, this one. Baby. And just a little. And it is very fiddly. So let's see what we got here. We got. Hasta la vista, baby. And that looks pretty good. Um, one more time. Hasta baby. La Baby. At the end there, it doesn't look very good. Baby. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista, baby. There you go. That looks pretty weird there. Okay, so what we're next we're going to do is we're going to export it. Don't worry about Anime Studio. Um, so we can export it. We'll export it as Arnold, and we'll export it, and just export it to where we want to put it. find it here there's our Arnold and we need to modify a little bit um, this one here I don't know why it's doing minus one what we want to do is do a zero and a rest and this is for it to work with synfig and you're going to need to 
also put in the frames per second. We're going to work at 15 frames per second. And since the files are PNGs, you're going to have to type in PNG so it knows to use PNGs. And since it has a, and you might want to make sure it has a rest on the end here. And since this one has a rest on the end, it'll work. I think you should have something on zero, frame zero. If it starts at a later frame, so you say it started at frame eight, then uh, Synfig may mess up. It did in earlier versions. I'm not quite sure if it's doing it now. And then what you're going to do is you're also going to save it out as a LST file because that's what Synfig uses. So we're going to save that out as an LST. And then we're going to pop over to Synfig, and this has come up. And what we could do is we could just get our list file, which would be our own list, and just drag it into Synfig. And there it is. Now, another thing we could do is we can drag our, not our WAV file, but our MP3 file in here as well. And then we could play it. Hasta la vista. And as you can see, that works. Now, here comes the problem. When we render it out, it doesn't work. And I have a lot of problems with Synfig, unfortunately, with the rendering. So I'm going to pick FFmpeg. And for me, Windows Media, Windows Media Video works best. All the other ones uh, don't work best. Uh, when I try to put it into my editing program is Sony Vegas Studio does not recognize them. So I'm going to render this out. And before I go into that, let me show you I've set up. I can never find it. No, not there. I'm going to find out. I'm trying to find out where my frames per second are. Always a struggle on this one. Render. No. Here we go. 15 frames per second. So it's going to be rendered out of 15 frames per second. I'm going to render it. Having some sort of problem here. See it says it's rendering here. We'll go back into our thing here. We'll see it's rendering. And it hasn't finished yet. Hopefully the noise of my fan hasn't overdone my voice yet. And there it's done. So now we go in here and we play it. And you have the mouth and you can see with it saying hasta la vista baby, but it's not the sound isn't coming through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it into uh, Sony Vegas and um, we'll lip sync it there. I have my editing program choice here, Movie Studio Platinum. And I know I said that everything could be done with open source programs and it can. I think probably one of the best video editing programs that is open source would be Blender, even though it's a 3D program. I'm not quite sure how easy that is. I've never tried Blender. I've always had Movie Studio Platinum. It's something I bought a long time ago, so it's something I'm going to use. But if you're going to do videos, uh, animation videos, I suggest that you probably do investigate some sort of multi-layer, multi, um, multi-video layer, multi-voice layer uh, program. Movie Studio Platinum is pretty good. There are other ones. Adobe has a lower-end version for about $99. This one's about $99 US. Anyway, so what we're going to do is move Dave in here, and it doesn't matter whether I take the wave or the MP3 file. And now I'm going to play it. Hasta la vista, baby. And there you go. Now, if it, the voice doesn't match up a little bit, you can go into Papagayo, adjust your sound file, 
re-export it out into a list file and take that list file and put it back into synfig and then you know export it out and it's a lot of tweaking and unfortunately it's you know a bit of a long process but you can do something so this is uh, pretty much the end this is like diving right into at least doing the lip sync and i'm going to show you a little bit of animation in the next tutorial